Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I have something really special for you today. The first short presentation of the sensational, mythical, legendary Huben GK1 pistol. This is the Germany legal version though, but of course I put a link to Matt's video down there. He shot the gun in the US in full power. And it's, it's a blast and it's a masterpiece. And I am humbled before this ingenious piece. So, the Huben GK1, let me show you its features. As you may know, I'm already a huge fan of Huben because we have been selling the great, uh, like, you know, bullpup version of this, like rifle version of this, the K1, for like two years now, and it's an amazing gun. It's, it's amazingly accurate. The semi auto function is absolutely flawless and super, super fast. Uh, the gun is, is just a dream gun. But now they took the same system block and made a pistol out of it. And I'm not sure how they've done it, but they've been able to squeeze everything that it takes for a high pressure uh, PCP air gun into this small package here. With everything, with, with the valve, with the, the repeating mechanism, just everything. So, so I am absolutely amazed by this gun. But the most amazing part is how well it shoots. I'll show you. Okay, so I've put a dog food can over there, uh, filled with water. Rolfi ate all of it. <laughs> and now I will sit down and try to hit this thing as fast as I can, as often as I can. So I'll be sh sitting down and just put my hand on the back here, uh, because my eyes aren't really the greatest anymore. <laughs> 58 years of age, and uh, without a scope, it's kind of hard for me to hit uh, just the open sights. But I'll do my best. It moved. Es hat sich so ein bisschen bewegt, deswegen habe ich es nicht mit jedem Schuss getroffen. Aber die Geschwindigkeit ist schon affenschnell, oder? So, now I will take a little bit more time and shoot from a standing up position. And I hope that this time I will hit a few more times often than... Was that a correct sentence? I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I will just still need to mount like a red dot and there's a, an 11 millimeter rail here, dovetail rail here, so I can install a, a red dot and that I will do and then I can of course um, shoot much more accurately, I think. I'm actually convinced about this because this is a highly accurate gun. So the big question is when, when, when can I get it? Well, if you live in the US, you can already get it. Actually, Matt at gogun.co uh, uh, sells it and he already shipped many, many of these guns. Of course, he sells the open version that you can adjust in terms of power and, uh, and you can also get the 25 caliber. So um, I'll put his, the link to his uh, shop down there. I also think that Mike Sansom from the UK will sell it because obviously this is semi-auto but since it shoots directly from the magazine and not pushing the pellet in the magazine I understand it's UK legal and it also is UK legal in terms of power because it's the same seven and a half joule like in Germany. So hopefully Mike will also be able to supply these. <laughs> And when? Well, in the, in the UK, I think it will take the same time as in Germany. We're talking about four months from now. So this means that early in the 2024, we think we can do first shipping. So what is so revolutionary on this gun, besides that it's a 19-shot, semi-auto, great-looking, amazing, amazingly accurate gun? Well, it's the power. It's the power. Because, see, I thought with air guns it's all the same. You only get maximum 350 bar. That's what the most powerful compressors can do. And this is also the maximum fill pressure of this gun. So um, that is not much if you compare it to firearms. Firearms can easily go up to like 20,000 bar or something. So I thought if you want power from an air gun, you need a big, big, big caliber, a large bore, right? You know, so that the surface where the, where the air presses against is large so that more energy can be transferred. And I also thought you need a long barrel so that you have a long acceleration. And uh, so, and then you get a relatively slow but very heavy bullet that can cause a lot of damage. But who, who been proved this wrong? Because this is just a 22 gun. So far, the strongest guns in the 22 caliber had been, what, 
20, 21, 22 joule. Now this one we have clocked it at 62 joule with pellets. And I'm sure that if you use heavy slugs, you can easily achieve like 80 joule or something like this. So, so this is amazing. It's, we're talking 46 to maybe, maybe 60 foot pounds of energy from a semi-auto 19 shot pistol air gun. So, so this is so amazing. I don't, I'm not sure how they've done it. It must, there must be some magic in it. Or I think it's just a great, great, great valve design. But in any case, this makes it so special. It's, it's groundbreaking. It's, 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 it's really, really a big leap forward for the entire air gun industry. It's setting a new standard. It's a milestone towards further miracles that we hope we will get and see from Huben. <laughs> We're now building a zombie simulator. Phil's got some uh, leather here, or zombies wearing a leather jacket, and then uh, some pork ribs, pork flesh. And then we couldn't get a coconut. We wanted a coconut, which would be like the skull, but we got some pine wood. That's the zombie skull. And then we got a tomato for the zombie brain. So we're gonna see if this thing can penetrate through the, uh, the body of the zombie, and if it can, you know, it's a pretty damn good zombie killer. Here we go. There we go. All right, what do we got? I don't know. All right, let's... Oh, I'm... Actually, it. Oh, no, yeah, there, I think yeah. it did. Oh, look, right Holy here. shit! Yeah. Let's take a look on the okay. table. Ooh, that's a big hole there. Yeah, look at that. That's a beast. Holy crap. Some power. Some power in that thing. Works good. The gun is actually delivered in this nice case, so it's not doesn't come in like a cardboard box. I'm not sure if that's true in the US too, but at least for Germany, it will be in this nice box here. And um, you know, you get a, a ton of additional stuff like tools and replacement O-rings and everything. So I've never seen a gun that needed one, but in any case, um, they, they put it next to it. So it's a nice presentation as well, don't you think? I also think that there will be lots of additional stuff. There is a silencer already and it doesn't make a lot of sense. I've also seen prototypes of a folding rear stock and even a prototype of a, of a trigger guard with a built-in Picatinny rail so that you can use a, a bipod for it. Essentially turning this into like a small carbine size weapon. Uh, it's going to be super successful, therefore I'm absolutely convinced there will be a ton of additional stuff for it. In any case, I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and... <laughs>